Well, Tanner and then Gloria and then together. So I'm going to try to get through that now. Hopefully uh, we've had any tears as well. It can be a little, little bit of a gush sometimes. So. so Tanner and I have actually known each other for 33 years. So this is uh, going on 34 years. Brent and Lori were next door neighbors with my parents and did us an early favor and introduced us when we were, when we were infants. So <laughs> lifelong best friends for sure. And um, I just want to welcome so many familiar faces. There's so many people we've been able to reconnect with probably for you and for me that uh, I haven't seen for a long time and a lot of people that travel from a long way away to be here so it's been really really beautiful such a perfect day for a wedding that was so well planned by the entire family so. yeah. so Tanner and Gloria it's really an honor and I'm really representing uh, you know the bridesmaids but also the grooms uh, the, 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 well, there's no best man, we're all groomsmen, and uh, they're kind enough to put some thoughts together with me, too. Um, and I want to talk about growing up with Tanner a, a little bit here. There was a lot of memories worth uh, recounting. We'll try to keep uh, uh, most of the long story short here today, but it was really a quintessential Colorado lifestyle in childhood. I remember coming up here to Estes Park. This is uh, actually not too far from, if I understand correctly, where Brett and Lori were married and also had the reception right around this property here, so just across the street. So what is going on? It's burned out. But right in the same time. But you're married. So such a special area. We come up here, we go rock climbing, we can pop up off, we have cap gun wars. I remember going to Grand Lake, we would commute back and forth on Crowbridge Road. In the Brown Suburban, any of the Pike kids or cousins remember the Brown Suburban? I'm sure. Uh, but then I remember uh, going to Steamboat and the adventures of babysitting with Karen and all the things. The Abushi kids probably remember Karen as well, pretty well. Um, and uh, just going fly fishing and learning that with you, Tanner, going to summer camp at least once every year. Um, <laughs> going to Warren Miller film screenings. I think most kids growing up in Colorado saw a couple of those. Um, and then doorbell ditching Mr. Huckabee, that was always a lot of fun. <laughs> He's not here, is he? Uh... I didn't know about that. <laughs> I didn't either. <laughs> uh, the other thing I remember doing with Tanner and with Brent was junior ski patrol training. And uh, for those of you that haven't been to Eldora in February, it's uh, a special uh, lesson in cold weather uh, training. There's some windy days up there, so I don't know if we've ever uh, had to experience any more cold in our life. But also, we've pretty much started every business that you could possibly imagine. We had lemonade stands. We thought we had a landscaping empire you know, making thousands of dollars <laughs> as kids. Um, and then any and everything, thank you, Dee and Dave, any and everything we got into our whole lives. Ten sales, three lots. It was such a quintessential life. Uh, we were never at the same school or in the same neighborhood, but we always stayed in touch. And uh, it's been a lifelong friendship, so I appreciate that so much. Uh, just thinking about Tanner for a little bit, I remember coming over to Bridge Road and to the, the, that whole neighborhood and remembering how popular this kid was. He, he had friends from every, he had school friends, he had church friends, he had cousins, he had family friends. It's just like this, all these people that were drawn to Tanner, he was, had these special relationships with everyone. And I remember how well equipped he was. These, these high kids grew up nice. They had skis and fishing gear. <laughs> Uh, he had a computer in his room when he was 10, I think. <laughs> We'd have three or four boys instant messaging girls from school, and we were you know, staying up late to bid on little skis on, on eBay on Tanner's computer. And those friendships have just continued into your adulthood. Uh, you've got an amazing groomsman. We had a really nice bachelor party. I got to meet some extended friends as well, and I think they really reflect perfectly really kind of the, the, the gentleman that you've become and the gentleman that you are. And uh, I just want to say a few things about you, Tanner, and it's, you're really one of the, the most loyal and trustworthy people or friends possible. Uh, it's incredible. Uh, and it's really the, the type of person, I think anyone here that knows you well can attest to this, that you can trust with any task or any information at any time. And I think people recognize that with you right when they meet you, and uh, they really admire that within you. Uh, you're very ambitious, you're extremely thoughtful, extremely hardworking. You were mowing grass before we had you know, driver's licenses. Uh, working, at the, working at the bagel shop in Montana, your landscaping business. Uh, we'll talk for a minute about Crystal, Crystal Ski Shop, but that's a very special place. I'll get to that in a second. And then, of course, your career at Night Eyes. So, um, really, really incre incredible. 
But I don't want you to be mistaken about Tanner. He's, he can be mischievous as well. <laughs> he likes a great Dumb and Dumber quote or a, uh, a, a, snow, a, a, a friendly snowball fight here or there as well. Um, but if you spend some time with him, he's got an artful cast on the water. It's just beautiful. When he's coming down a mobile run, it's, it's like poetry. It's just it's a thing of beauty. Um, and people admire that as well. Um, but one thing that really stands out is, is how deliberate you are. Um, it's just, it really, uh, you know, it, it comes to, with your quality, but it kind of means you do things on your own time as well. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's why the third of the three to get married. But <laughs> <laughs> But it's, it's a really big part of who you are. Um, but just a great grandson, a great friend, a great son, a great husband to Gloria, I believe you will be. Um, and uh, don't forget to share him with us. <laughs> so I uh, want to just talk about when Tanner told me about Gloria also. We were at my bachelor party, actually, uh, in Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, I can tell you about that later as well. <laughs> and Dustin filled me in a little earlier about this. Tanner and Gloria met at Crystal. They, uh, they, I think, met in late 2010. Does that sound about right? So uh, the way we knew that this relationship was trending well, actually, was Justin had some uh, time clock analysis. And everyone would leave and go home from Crystal's. And at the end of the day, there were two people left with a couple extra hours. <laughs> caring. Uh, I knew how thought thoughtful she was, and that's just been magnified by the attention to detail, the beautiful execution of this wedding. It's just been such a beautiful day, and such creativity, uh, from the gifts, to the keychains, to the table facings. It's so, so beautiful. Um, and also passionate about the outdoors, which I think will serve you really well as you continue together. Um, she's not afraid to share her opinion with anyone. <laughs> And she'll call Tanner out when he's being decisive, and <laughs> apparently she's pretty patient, because she'll wait for him also. <laughs> when he's being deliberate, um, which is something I'm working on after three, 33 years of friendship <laughs> uh, But when I see you two together, I see partnership, companionship, and I see love. So I don't have a glass, I need to get a glass here. <laughs> Just raise his house. I've got some. I've only been married for eight years, but some words of wisdom that I think will serve you well. Remember to be patient with one another. Remember to communicate, to empathize, to compromise. Remember that a few hours in the outdoors can cure almost any real-world stress. Remember when you are outdoors to put your phones in a safe place when you're going to be. <laughs> <laughs> and remember not to, don't sweat the small stuff, and my dad would remind you it's all small stuff, right? Remember to have fun, if you're doing it right, you'll be each other's best friends. So, here's a toast, here's a lifetime of love, happiness, prosperity, fulfillment, and health, Mr. and Mrs. Tanner Hayes. Yeah.